So, the Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume 1 is finally out, and MGS 1, 2, and 3 are finally on Steam. But are these the best versions of these games available on PC? Are they worth the $60 price tag? In this video, I'll be reviewing the Master Collection version of MGS1, comparing it to older options available on PC to find out how good it actually is. But before we start, let me remind you to subscribe so you don't miss the reviews I'll be making on the other games in the collection. And also, be aware that there are minor spoilers of MGS1 in this video. With that out of the way, let's begin with the good news. The Master Collection of MGS1 is packed with content. It includes a master book with tons of information on it, a screenplay transcription, and even the game itself is actually four games in one. You can choose to play any of the four editions of the game that were released on the PlayStation 1, including the original edition, the American VR Missions edition, the European Special Missions edition, and the Japanese exclusive Integral edition, which has extra content. You can also pick which language pack you'll be using, but unfortunately you can't mix subtitles and dubs from different languages. So for example, you cannot play it with English subtitles and Japanese audio. The game also supports modern controllers, including the PlayStation ones, and it automatically identifies which controller you're using and updates the button prompts accordingly. There's also the option to add a bunch of virtual save files for Konami games, so that the iconic Psycho Mantis easter egg works properly. I found that to be pretty cool. Another thing they added is the option to pause the cutscenes at any time by pressing L1 and R1. Additionally, you don't need to change discs anymore. When you get to that point in the game, a nice little animation plays on screen and you're good to go. Okay, so these are all very nice features. But what about the game itself? Well, now is when the bad news starts. It seems that the game is running on some kind of PS1 emulator, and the emulation is not quite the best. For starters, the game is locked to 240p resolution with bilinear filtering, and there's no option to change the resolution or disable the filtering. The application is also locked to 1080p resolution, so if your monitor's resolution is higher than 1080p, when playing in full screen, you might have problems using all tab. It doesn't have integer scaling, scan line filters, or any kind of shaders either. The result is a very blurry image. The aspect ratio also seems to be slightly incorrect. They do include the option to use wallpapers, though. And, unlike the old PC version, the post-processing effects like depth of field and motion blur are working properly. As for the audio, it's generally okay, but there are a few inaccuracies. Take a listen to these sound effects. The emulator they're using is not reproducing the PS1 audio properly. Still, in-game audio in general sounds fine, so I'd say these audio issues are minor, but they add up to an already poor experience. Another issue with this version is the lack of true analog controls. When you use the analog stick on the Master Collection version, you get the same digital input as the D-pad, meaning you can only move in 8 directions. Whereas with an emulator such as Duck Station, or even the old PC version, you have full 360 degrees of freedom. As for performance, well, it seems that there are some minor frame pacing issues. It's an emulation, so it's stuck at 30 FPS like every other version before it, and the performance is similar to a real PS1, with slowdowns in the same areas where it happened on real hardware. And finally, one more minor thing. The diazepam box is green on this version for some reason. Now, compared to other options, you can clearly see that more effort could have been put in this collection. When playing on an emulator like Duck Station, for example, you get all kinds of features, 
such as increasing the resolution to 4K, which makes the game look great. Wait. Or you can keep the resolution at native, but use integer scaling and nearest neighbor filtering, so you get a nice sharp image. So you killed the sheep, you bastard! There's also the option to use candleline filters and shaders. These enhancements are not exclusive to Duck Station either, so they could probably be included in the Master Collection version, since it's also using emulation apparently. But unfortunately, they were not. Not even the option to use nearest neighbor filtering instead of bilinear filtering. Actually, even the old PC port can have some of these features by using a mod called MGSI Launcher. This mod adds support to a bunch of features and fixes the music issues that this version has. But the sound effects continue to be low quality and the post-processing effects continue to be broken. So I'd say this version is not recommended. In the end, it seems that, once again, I'm gonna be recommending Duck Station as the best way to play this game on PC. Unfortunately, the Master Collection version of MGS1 is unable to reach its full potential at the moment. Unless Konami decides to update the game and add the ability to disable bilinear filtering, change the resolution, and fixes the audio inaccuracies, it's going to be hard to recommend the Master Collection version of Metal Gear Solid. Thirds of the world's greatest assassins are women. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe for more. I'll be making reviews for the other games on the collection soon, so stay tuned for that. And if you want to get in touch with me, follow me on X. Also, I made a video years ago comparing Duck Station to the old PC version, if you're interested. Just keep in mind that it's an old video and the MGSI Launcher mod is not featured in it. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. So you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. And you? Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. Six bullets, more than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me... Revolver.